alveolar ventilation it is the amount of air ventilating the alveoli per minute hence alveolar ventilation can be given as tidal volume minus dead space into respiratory rate that is alveolar ventilation is equal to 500 minus 150 where 500 is tidal volume and 150 is dead space into 12 will give you 4.2 liters per minute so that is the normal ventilation physiological significance of alveolar ventilation respiration involves the gaseous exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide by diffusion between the alveolar and pulmonary capillary blood so maintenance of volume of alveolar ventilation is very important in tachypnea that is uh, where there will be rapid shallow respiration alveolar ventilation decreases though the pulmonary ventilation remains normal as a result uh, less air is available for exchange in slow deep respiration both alveolar and pulmonary ventilation are normal coming to ventilation perfusion ratio which is the ratio of alveolar ventilation to pulmonary blood flow as uh, alveolar ventilation is 4.2 liters per minute and the pulmonary blood flow is around 5.5 liters per minute then ventilation perfusion ratio is approximately 4 divided by 5 that will be 0.8 the total ratio is not important more important is that whether this ratio is present uniformly throughout the lungs for proper oxygenation some of the factors which are affecting ventilation perfusion ratio physiological causes like the effect of gravity ventilation perfusion ratio are high in the apical portions of the lung and less at the base some of the pathological causes like all the factors which cause uh, uneven alveolar ventilation or non-uniform blood flow to the pulmonary circulation will alter the ventilation perfusion ratio for example bronchial asthma pneumothorax emphysema causes uneven alveolar ventilation whereas phthalate tetralogy pulmonary embolism causes uh, ununiform pulmonary blood flow clinical significance it is said that high ventilation perfu perfusion ratio at the apices account for the prediction of tuberculosis for this area because high alveolar po2 provides a favorable environment for the growth of tuberculosis bacteria physiological shunt and its significance when ventilation perfusion uh, the ratio of alveolar ventilation to the blood flow below the normal there is inadequate ventilation to provide oxygen needed to fully oxygenate the blood flowing through the alveolar capillaries therefore a certain fraction of venous blood passing through the pulmonary capillaries does not become oxygenated this fraction is called as shunted blood although some of the bronchial vessels that is bronchial arteries branches of thora thoracic aorta enters the bronchial vein some enters the pulmonary capillaries and veins by passing the right ventricle blood that flows from coronary arteries into the left side of the heart in this two exception a physiological shunt is created and the blood in the systemic arteries has a po2 about 2 mm hg lower than that of the blood which is equilibrated with the alveolar air greater the physiological shunt the greater amount of blood that is that is that fails to be oxygenated as